Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. Well, Threat Tracker is in the yellow because we still have a little bit of slick roads out there, but they are fast improving. They should be good about, I would say, mid afternoon to evening. We are starting to see some clearing in the skies, too. Mostly cloudy skies for our New Year's Eve. And by Friday, we're back in the yellow for Threat Tracker once again because a wintry mix looks likely and we could see even more accumulating snow. Here's a look at satellite and radar, and we are starting to get that clearing in the cloud cover, especially in our north and western counties, places near Waterloo seeing a little bit of sunshine, but that heavier cloud cover is still sitting over our eastern southern counties, anywhere from Dubuque down to Washington. Here's a look at our current road conditions, and we've been seeing them improve all morning long. Those in the northwestern part of the state still dealing with partially covered roads back home in eastern Iowa. In our northern half of our viewing area, still have some partially covered roads from Prairie du Chien down to El Cater and Manchester, near Guttenberg as well. However, we've got clearing for Decorah and Old Wine. Those are good roads. The same with Waterloo. Clearing near Cedar Rapids, well, we still have some partially covered roads near Iowa City, Williamsburg, near Tipton, and coming back through Maquoketa. Now, it's going to be a bit breezy at times. We'll have a northwest wind gusting up to about 20 miles per hour, making things feel a bit chillier out there today, but those winds will die down later on this evening into the overnight. Now, let's talk about that system that could bring us another chance and maybe a wintry mix on Friday. This is Thursday at 5 o'clock. We'll see cloud cover increasing ahead of our next system by 4 a.m. on Friday. We'll start to see some of that rain snow mix moving into our southern counties. By 9 a.m., we've got snow through Dubuque, Waterloo, down to Cedar Rapids. That mix still staying near Washington and Iowa City. Now, with this mix, we could see a little bit more freezing rain included in this. Friday afternoon, that's when everything switches to snow, and then it looks like the system will exit late Friday night into early Saturday morning. Now, it is still a little bit too early to determine how much snow we could see, but keep an eye on that over the next couple of days. We'll have that for you. Today's high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 20s, but temperatures will fast decrease throughout the afternoon. Again, we'll have that breezy northwest wind. Overnight, our low temperatures will be in the single digits. We'll keep the partly cloudy skies. City by city forecast, Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. New Year's Eve, we're only in the teens for highs with mostly cloudy skies. That system moves in on Friday, bringing us a chance of rain and snow for New Year's Day. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 20s. And then this weekend through next work week, we actually clear out and temperatures try to make it back to the low.